been that bad <clears> though that have you seen the have you seen the scenarios that people have been building? If they're not winning the games. About them potentially getting relegated. Mm. Now I know that I'm, I'm not I'm not on that, right? I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm not riding that bike. But but it has become so laughable that it has left it out there for people to but, almost ridicule. Yeah. But what I said it mean, once, eh? I said it once I mean, and somebody said also to me, like, oh, what are you talking about? I said, you don't want to get them in that situation because they're too big of a, of a club. Even if the Mario, in that situation, Mario, oh, come on now, think, man. Do you think they could go the rest of the season and lose every game? I mean, that is I feasible, I don't the way they're so. playing. I don't think so. If someone, no, no, I don't think so. But the way they play, look, if they, if they lose the next game against Bournemouth, Bournemouth goes to Bournemouth. This was a team that was fighting for relegation when O'Neill took over. So how is that possible? For me, I still say, like I said it before, they move too fast. They move too fast. Come on, Gray. Come on. You cannot come to a club and you change everything just on the spot. In, in a couple of weeks, they got everybody clear. Okay, you clear everybody, and now you got to hold on and got to listen to people, what you guys already mentioned. Whoever is in his ear, and every owner has it. When I was there, when Abramovich took over, was also someone in his ear. Now we have, you have another owner. There is someone in his ear too. It doesn't matter because he has to learn, but make sure you make a bit of crucial decisions in the sense of, like, think about it. Because you have done this journey. Who has done, he's done this journey before. Even if it costs a different sport, but he's done the journey before, he needs to slow down. Calm down, slow down, because it's going too fast. Mario, what's your biggest concern for Chelsea right now then? <laughs> My biggest concern is that they, they, uh, they hit it to the end of the season and then I'm worried about next season because if they don't have the proper strategy, like even what Gab said, you know, if uh, Potichino comes in, look, I think if you clearly, when you guys were talking about Potichino, eh, look, this is the size of a manager. You don't even know if he wants to take the job already because that's also an answer, right, guys? No. Look, it's a nice club, to have, but you don't know if he already wants to come in now. Now, 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 while they're in that situation. And who says to us that Pochettino is not from home, seeing things that the team is doing, and he's like, come on, we're living in a world now, and I've been to the training ground of Chelsea, trust me, that training ground is up to date. So for him, he can do anything he wants and maybe keep on track of what's going on in the club and what our players are doing and make his strategy advance before he comes and takes the job. But taking the job now... <sighs> I don't know if a man of that size, you understand? We already questioned when Frank took it, and I said, like, yeah, I will take the job too. But, wow, look at what situation Chelsea is in. It's way deeper than people even think it is. And that is why I say they need to slow down and really sit down and have a proper strategy so everybody understands what they're doing, and even the people that are supporting I think figuring out, and, I'm, and, and I would like to think that they've already done this, but figuring out the ones that need to go and how they're going to get them out is almost as important mm -hmm. as who they need to bring in. <laughs> yeah. Because they need to get a big batch of these players out, not only to release the salary, but to decrease the squad size to make it more workable and more manageable and finally hone that squad with the players that they want. At the moment, they've just got a huge, a very, very large group of sort of what you would call first-team players Big money players, mm -hmm. new signings, players that tried to get out like Ziyech in, in January, players like Pulisic, players like Havertz, you know, where he's going to be, Bamiyang, even Raheem Sterling, who they signed last summer. The, the list goes on and on and on of players that probably they need to get out. That's easier said than done. That is easier said than done. So it's not just a matter of going out in the summer and going, oh, right, five or six players, job done. It's, it's a lot of work to be done uh, with that squad. And we're not even at the stage yet of talking about a manager. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.